Hello my friends, my name is Laser Jet. And hello his friends, and I'm Laser Dad. Okay, so the video you're about to watch is quite special. Uh, it's actually a promotional video that was filmed for Dovetail Games. So just before Christmas, Dovetail got in touch with Oliver and asked if he would take part in a special promotional video. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, cool. that's pretty awesome. So they, they wanted to tie up with Oliver as an influencer uh, and feature him on a stream that they were doing on Steam. So we, they asked us to make a special video that wasn't going to be put up online. So this, this video you're about to watch is, is probably shot about a week ago, wasn't it? Probably, yeah. Yeah, and we've been keeping it secret from everybody so nobody knew about it. But if you did happen to watch the stream on Steam, it's hard to say, isn't it? Stream yeah, on Steam. Stream on Steam. That's stream really hard. Really if hard. you did happen to see the, st the stream on Steam, <laughs> you may have already seen this video. But uh, for those of you that haven't seen it, we're about to show it now. So, we have a special announcement to make. Exactly. Yeah. As part of that promotion that Oliver did, uh, the guys at Dovetail have given Oliver 10 root codes to give away as part of this video. So all you need to do, watch the video all the way through to the end, leave a like and a comment. Is it a like? Like and comment. Yeah, like and comment, that's the one. Like and comment. Uh, and then what will happen is we'll collect all those names, load them into... Google? Google. Google. It's Google. 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 Load them into Google and we'll get Google to randomly select 10 names and those people, providing obviously you've got Train Simulator, what train version of Train Simulator is it? Uh, not Train Sim World, Train Simulator 2020. So if you've got Train Simulator 2020 and you want the route that's featured in this video, like and comment on the video, we will collect those names and 10 lucky people will be randomly selected to receive a root code, which means you can download the code from Steam for free. Ooh. So enjoy the video, my friends. Hope you enjoy and hope you win the codes. And remember, it's all about the train. Game. Game. It's, it's all about, about the game. game. Hello, my friends. My name is LaserJet, and today you join me on Train Simulator 2020, and we're on one of my most favourite routes of all time. This is the uh, King's Cross to Peterborough route, and it's a nice, beautiful, snowy morning. Um, today we're going to be travelling from King's Cross Station to Peterborough, obviously, but we're going to be using one of my favourite uh, my favourite class A4s in the world, uh, Bitten, with the two tenders. It does look very pretty, and it's got a nice Ryan's Gosman headboard as well. So um, I'm actually really excited to be making this very special video for you today, and we're going to get ready to set off and head over to well head to Peterborough, and. You know, which is going to pick up on my long time steam engine driving skills. So I'm going to open this window because this is actually quite warm and toasty in here. Oh dear, it's lovely though, isn't it? It's a nice, beautiful winter morning at King's Cross. It's a bit chilly out there, but you know, we got a nice hot fireplace. Well, we got we got a steam engine to keep us warm, so we're all good. So first things first, we need to take off the brakes, which we just done. Put the engine in forward, turn on the lights, and then we are ready to go. Oh, and we've almost forgot one more thing. We need to pick up some passengers. We cannot have a train without passengers, so let's open the doors and let passengers on and off and then we'll be ready to leave because we can't have a good train without carrying our good first class and second class passengers or standard class, some people say standard class so any minute the doors are shutting and there they go, the doors have just been closed and I'm ready, uh, Bitten is ready I'm really excited to be travelling on what is my favourite route of all time so let's blow the whistle and we are ready to go. I'm going to film it from this angle because this is actually a really good shot. Especially with the snow falling down. I think blue looks nice against the snow. So let's blow the whistle again. It's bitten is ready. But we're going to go very slowly. We don't want to go too fast. Just gently. Very gently. We don't want any wheel slip because that would be catastrophic. So just slow and steady. We like that. I do like the bitten nameplate as well. But King's Cross Station is always busy. Look at that beautiful sunrise as well. It's a beautiful... Look at that. You can actually see the clock as well in the weird square sun. It's kind of like Minecraft, isn't it? Oh, that's a good shot. Look at this. Oh, I love the A4s. They're just beautiful, aren't they? They're just fantastic looking engines. Especially an A4 with two tenders in the L and the R blue. Especially as the one is like bitten. Mm, such a good looking A4. And in the tunnels we go. Look at the snow falling. It's so pretty. But it's a bit squeaky as well, so in the tunnel we go. And say goodbye. <laughs> I'm going to get like a really cool shot of us in the tunnel as a passenger. Whee! And it does get very dark in here, doesn't it? 
But at least we got that nice engine to keep us nice and hot and warm. Because look at that. Oh, nice, toasty and warm. I like that. And this is the reason why I like King's Cross to Peterborough. Most routes you play, they're like either branch lines or they're just like... Just any other line where there's just like two bits of track and you're on your way to your destination. But in this route, it's so busy and it's just so straightforward. You get from point A to point B. And that's and that will do in a route like this, and it's it's so straight. There's no like t like sharp bends, or you can't accidentally hit a curb and then your train will just roll off the track. It's just a big straight line from one part of your destination to another, and that's why and that's what route should be like. And that's why I like this route because it's just it's just so straightforward. And soon we'll actually pick up some speed, and I can show you guys what I mean because on on this route. Oh, we got wheel slip. That's that's bad. That's not what we want. But as I said, on this route, you can actually max out your engine's speed on this route. And in some routes, you can't actually do that. But on this route, you can, because everyone likes speed. And that's exactly what we're about to do. We're gonna go try and go as fast as we can on this route. Okay, we'll take the sander off and let's get off some bit, bit more speed and power. That's what we like, isn't it? So. We'll put the, the, what's it called, the regulator, the regulator, we'll put the regulator up and we'll put the reverser down just a, just a smidge and that will help us go a little bit more faster. And I think we're starting to pick up a bit more speed, but we are going uphill, just for, just for a smidge. Can I try and get like an epic shot of the bitten with its two tenders in the, in the snow? Because look how beautiful and pretty that looks. I actually really like that. And I do like the A4 sound pack as well. I mean, that is a good touch. But the sound effects for the coaches aren't actually that good. But I do love this route. I mean, I love the detail in the scenery as well. But I mean, we can't really see much because it's actually quite foggy. And frosty as well. Frost, frosty is a good word. Okay, we're nearly doing 40 miles per hour. So that's good. That's excellent. Because in some routes, normally if I go 40 miles per hour, you hit a curb and you just accidentally roll off the tracks. But... We're not struggling at all. Speed is good. Our pressure is good. And I do like the snow as well. And look how beautiful this sunrise is. It does look pretty. And look, it's like it's like business, business, business. Hold on, this looks like St. Mary's Stadium. And this is I think this might be St. Mary's Stadium. Oh no, that's Southampton. Wembley Stadium. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm I'm St. Mary's is is the one in Southampton. This is Wembley Stadium. This is London. Why do I keep thinking I'm in Southampton? This is London, isn't it? Sorry about that. I don't even know if this is Wembley Stadium. Or maybe it's just a random football stadium. Might be Wembley. I'm not sure. I'm not really a football nerd. I don't actually know what any stadiums look like. I mean, in my opinion, all the stadiums look the same. But for those of you who are watching and saying that, that's not St. Mary's, that's Southampton. Ladies and gentlemen, you're an idiot. I am. <laughs> There's no question about that. But we have picked up a lot of speed now. We're doing 55, no, 56 miles per hour. And we're speeding up. Things are looking good for Bitten. I do like that whistle as well. Oh, I love this. I just love all the train simulator. I love the sound effects. I love how you can do so many things. And I love the G-Force. Because I don't, I don't really explain of how much... I actually love Train Simulator. I mean, all I do is... I'm just a bloke who just makes stuff fun in Train Simulator. I don't actually sit back and relax and enjoy of how much I really like this game. Because there's just so much realism to it. And just... I mean, in, mo in most Train Simulator games I've played, this is the most realistic one I've ever played. Apart from Train Simulator World, of course. But Train Simulator World is, is... You've got limited stuff. But in this, you have unlimited trains and locos. And that's and that's what a train simulator game should be. Something just like this. Just that will do. Just get get your choose your favourite train and pick any route you want. I've chosen Bitum, which is my one of my favourite A4s. On one of my favourite routes in the world. London King's Cross to Peterborough. And what a great route it is. I mean, look at this. I mean, you've got a massive, like, yard over there. Like a, like a diesel train yard where they just store trains. And then you're just, like, station here, station there. It just looks so busy. And that's what makes a great route is when there's, like, other trains doing other things. Where it's just... It's always busy. 
And that's what I like about it. Just business, 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 business. How fast are we going right now? We're doing 79. 79, can we get to 80 miles per hour? Are you for it? There you go. 80 miles per hour. Ha ha ha. We're looking very good now. 80 miles per hour. We're fantastically good so far. And a good thing about this route is actually quite long. Because a lot of routes are actually very short. But if we actually look on the map. So we're here. And we just left King's Cross Station. Which is here. And at the moment we're here. But we've got to go all the way up here. And all the way up there. Straight to Peterborough. Which is, let's have a look on my thing, which is 71 miles. Which, in my case, I'll be able to get there in about an hour. In this, maybe less. God, there's a lot of tunnels in King's Cross. I just noticed of how many tunnels there are. And, oh, wow, look, they've actually got, like, a proper big work warehouse thing. Oh, there's a lorry there and a digger. Ha, ha, ha. It's just, it's, it just looks so busy. And they've got a station. And houses. Oh, I love the... Oh, that's a good looking bridge. I want to have a look at that. Get like a cool shot from the train going past on the bridge. Bye. This is nice. It's quite, it's quite not a bad route. Oh. There's a floating lamppost. <laughs> that's quite funny. I'm going to get like an epic shot of Bitten going past. That is awesome. I'm a little bit disappointed how there's no sound effects for the coaches. I mean, it's very quiet. I should have picked the Pullman coaches. They have great sound effects. So many tunnels in this route. I actually quite like the tunnels because it's too bad there's no, like, an, um, a cool echo effect when you're in the tunnels. But Bitten is working well. Let's go in. Actually, let's go inside. Um, oh, wow. There's actually a picture of an A4 with two tenders. I think that might be Bitten as well. Or... I think actually it looks like Bitten, because I know Bitten does have two tenders. That is so cool. So I'm actually, so there's a picture. I've just noticed that. There's a picture of an A4 in the carriage with two tenders. That is, that's, that is really good. I'm actually, I'm keeping that in that video, because in, in this video, because that is actually a good touch. It's got an A4 there. So this is actually, to that, that's to remind the passengers of the train you are traveling on. And we're in first class. It's good. What's our speed now? We're doing 94.1 miles per hour. No, not for 94.2. Nearly doing 100 miles per hour. But we are going uphill still, so... Once we, go, once we start going downhill, maybe we'll start, start picking up a bit more speed. But let's see if I can try and give it a little assist by helping it get to 100 miles per hour. But even though we are going uphill, so it might be a bit of a challenge. Uh, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to get like a good shot from the cab, because... In, even inside the cab, there's so much good detail in this, and the sound effects are incredibly good. You got the, like the smoke effect, you got the, the sunshine effect. It is actually quite early in the morning as well, so this is like the morning train. It's like the Christmas Express. I don't know if I can um, just notice you can move that as well. And I don't know actually know what that does, but it's pretty cool. Uh, we're doing 40, uh, 94.0 miles per hour. I think we might have slowed down just a little bit. Or maybe we've got in some speed. I'm not sure. But in another tunnel we go. Ha ha ha! The tunnels are great in this game, aren't they? And that is such a good whistle. I do love the whistles in this. This is a great A4 sound pack. Oh, yeah, we're, we're doing uh, 93.8 miles per hour. So we are slowing down. But not by much. I mean, we are struggling, but... Just patience, and hopefully once we get to the top of the hill, we start nearly, we, we could actually end up doing 100, hopefully. Maybe. I'm not sure. But what a loco this engine is. It's a, it's a marvellous piece of machinery. And this is just quite an epic route. In the tunnel it goes. I, lo I just love this route so much, because it's just, it's like a big, busy main line. Oh my god, look how foggy it is. I can't see a thing. I'm all fogged up. I can't see through the fog, Captain. It doesn't make sense. How long is this tunnel? Oh, there we go. We're just, we're li I was literally about to say, we've been in here for about a few seconds, but it's quite a bit of a long tunnel, that one. I think it's the longest tunnel we've gone through so far. It's, it's not bad, though. But look how foggy and frosty it is out there. I mean, you can't really see what's the distance. But I think that, what makes it, that makes it interesting. That makes it fun. Because you can't actually see. You don't know if that's a station or if that's a train. But that is a very sharp corner. But I think we might have reached the top of the hill. 
This looks like the top of the hill, in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think, but this looks like the top of the hill. Oh yeah, that's excellent. Very nice indeed. Let's have a look at the back of my train. I think we're over the top. Yes, we are. Good job, Bitten. Now it's downhill all the way. Well, not all the way, but it's down downhill far as I can see. And trust me, I can't see much. So, just have to be patient. I really want to get up to 100 miles per hour, but I'm not sure that will be a, uh, an easy thing to do. So I sort of need to, like, fight with the controls just a little bit, just to compromise with the engine. You need to, I need to, that's the thing about steam engines, you don't just drive the steam, you don't just drive the loco, you negotiate with it, because, in my opinion, I mean, I, I mean, this is going to sound super weird, but I like to think as steam engines as, they have like a, a secret conscience, they're like, they're, they're, they're alive in my, in my, in my mind, and you need to feed it, you need to give it a drink, you need to feed it coal and give it some water for a drink, so, and you need to negotiate it with it. You need to, like, fight with the controls to make it go faster and run well. So you don't just tell an engine what to do, like like a Class 66 or a, a Class 91. You don't just put a throttle down and just let the train do its thing. You sort of need to create a bond with your steam engine and get a relationship with it. That's that, that's, I know that sounds so super weird and super lame, but that's just the way I like to think about it. Because I did drive a, a 9F once on the Midlands Railway, but that was probably the most ex amazing experience of my life, and I will do that again one day. And I need to do that again. I don't know when, but probably in the new year, probably in 2020 when they've opened um, Alton again. But let's have a look at the scenery of this a magnificent route, because, as I said, this is my favourite route of all time in the game. I mean, I know you can't really see much because there's just snow everywhere. But this place does look very nice in the snow. I mean, you can't see much because it's all foggy and frosty, and I admit that. That's kind of my fault. But, oh, wow, you've got houses here. This is like some sort of estate. Oh, it is an estate. Oh, I like that. It's like some sort of, like, cute little village. Well, town. Oh, look, they've even got a church. I like a church. Is the time right? Oh, no, it's just a picture. That's all right. But they've got a car park. Oh, this is a Sainsbury's. It looks like some sort of Sainsbury's or Tesco's or Asda. It looks more like a Tesco's or a hotel or something. But every town has to have a Tesco's or an Asda, in my opinion, and I've lost the tracks. Oh, no, there they are. I've just lost my engine for a second. It's like, where am I going? I have no idea where I am or where I'm going. But i tell you what I need to do. I need to get my engine up to 100 miles per hour. That is my, that's, that's my goal. I want to do that, but I'm just sort of, fight, sort of fighting with the controls at the moment. I mean, we're doing good. I mean, 93.1 miles per hour, I mean, that's still pretty far. Oh, no, 93.2. Well, it's going up just ever so slightly, but it's going up. Can we get to 93.3 .3 miles per hour, hopefully? I hope we can. Oh no, but we're going to be going uphill. Oh, 93.3 .3 miles per hour. So we are speeding up. But we are going to be going uphill any second. Oh no, we are going uphill right now. Okay. So, we're going uphill now. But for some reason, when we go uphill, we're speeding up. That's the thing. But listen, but you can actually hear the puff. Listen, I'm going to actually stop talking for just a second. I want you guys to actually listen to the puff sound effect from Bitten. Like, listen to that little... Let you guys hear for a second. Can you hear that? It's like a little... I like that as a sound effect. That's actually really nice. And this, this is actually a really good shot from Bitten as well. I mean, I know you can't see much of the route, but I really do like this engine. I really do love this reskin. Can't actually remember who did this reskin. I need to give the guy credit, but I can't actually remember who did this. I just found it on the Insta. Oh, actually, no, someone sent me this on my Instagram. And then I recommend you get in this. So I got it. Because it was, it was, it's a nice reskin, I'm, I think. I don't know what you guys think, but I love it. This nice. I'm going to have a look on the map to see where we actually are, because I've actually... We've actually travelled quite a bit now. Oh, look, we're almost at the end of the um, of the split in the uh, route. But we're nowhere near Peterborough Yeah, I think we've got, like, um, how many miles have we got? We've got 54.9 miles left to go. Oh, look, another train! What is this? What's that? Some sort of weird class diesel thing. 
Oh, it's a... Oh, it's that thing. Oh, this thing has sound effects as well. That's actually not, that's actually not a bad looking train. It's better than the class 450s. What a good looking train. Not as good looking as this though. Oh, we're in the tunnel, so I can't show you. Oh, I was about to say I was going to have like this really epic shot of going. It's not as cool as bitten though, but I can't show you because we're in the tunnel. So that's it, dumb. Yay, I can show you bitten now. Oh, it doesn't look beautiful. And we're in the tunnel again. How many tunnels are in this route? Wow, I've actually just noticed something. You can actually see the actual fi the fire glow effect on the side of the wall in the tunnel. That is actually really cool. I actually have a route suggestion for a Dovetail. Dovetail, if you're watching this, um, I recommend a route that has London Waterloo in it to... I don't actually know the destination, but uh, I would like it to have Eastley and Winchester in it. I don't actually know what route that is, but I'm pretty sure you guys will find it out. But um, it would be cool to actually have a route from London Waterloo uh, or, or past, at least past Eastleigh, because Eastleigh is actually my hometown and Winchester is actually my dad's hometown. So it would be cool to actually have a route possible for, like, that has my hometown in it, because that would be a really cool review especially on, on, on my channel, so Dovetail, if you're watching this, that's a little suggestion from me. If it, if it can be done, of course. We're doing 93 miles per hour, we've got 47.2 miles to go. I'd say we're possibly, maybe, nearly halfway from King's Cross to Peterborough. Sort of. Uh, I think I think I think I think we're halfway there actually. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe 35 percent. Yeah, I think we're like thirty five percent there. Wow, we're doing ninety three point three miles per hour, so we are speeding up now, and we are going downhill now. Yes, we like going downhill. Downhill's our friend. See if we can try and um, adjust bit and speed and try and make her go faster. Because I think the faster we went is like man, about 94 point something miles per hour. I don't remember. It was a few, what, a few minutes back. But yeah, I've got a while till we get to Peterborough. I mean, we've, already, we've got like 42.9 miles left to go. I'm still confident. You know, I've just noticed that my gallons of water is actually running down really quickly. And... I might not have enough water to get to Peterborough. Wow. But, you know, I'm optimistic. Stay confident. Relax. Tally-ho. I'm calm. I want to get, like, a, a cool epic shot of just... Just what we'll just see past on our long, epic journey. I know I've said that somewhere before in one of my videos, but... There was a, uh, the tornado trip when I hosted my Christmas fan meet-up. That was such a good video. <laughs> I was actually on this line, actually, believe it or not. I actually travelled on this route uh, from King's Cross all the way up to York, and that's one of the, that's actually the one of the reasons why I I really respect this route. I was actually on Tornado when it was going from King's Cross up to York and then back on this route again. But sadly, this route only goes up to Peterborough, not York. But that would be a really long route, in fairness. I mean, I know there's a route from Peterborough to York. But there's no York to King's Cross. But that is okay. Because I wasn't actually expecting anyone to make a route that long. It would have been way too complicated. Oh, look, another train. I'll give this one a whistle. That's awesome. Ah, so now we need to sit back and relax. And we've got 39.6 miles to go till we get to... Let's have a look on the map, actually. Let's see where we are. Bing, there we are. Um... Oh, wow, we actually are getting closer. Well, I know we're getting closer, but we're going to be there pretty soon. I mean, I, th I think we're actually halfway now. We're at the halfway point, I think. Yeah, I say, I say that's the halfway point. We're halfway there, lads. I just had a great idea of what I could do to make this video more interesting. I'm going to turn my camera off, and what I'm going to do... Well, this will be a few seconds for you guys, but it'll be probably a few minutes for me but I can speed up in the edit I was thinking of maybe getting some cool epic shots of Bitten going past well just go, just 
just, just doing like a little drive-by. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to turn my camera off and we're going to get some epic shots of Bitten. So enjoy. <laughs> Okay, I have to admit, I wasn't actually that good at getting some epic shots of Bitten, but I think they're alright. I mean, I do need to work on my action skills, but let's see how far we've come. Let's have a look uh, on our speed. We're doing 92 miles per hour. We've got 21 miles to go. And let's have a look and see on the map. Oh, yes, we are very close. We're nearly at our destination. We're nearly there, my friends. We're nearly there. We're nearly at our destination, my friends. But I mean, I for one thing have enjoyed it. I've enjoyed this epic journey, and I hope you guys did too. So, Peterborough, we're nearly there. I'll see you, that guy's at Peterborough. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get like an, I'll get an epic shot of the bridge. Let's get a shot of the bridge. Ah, uh, I, I sort of screwed that up, didn't I? I was hoping to get a really good shot of that. Oh well. But look at this, just, I mean, it's just covered in snow. You can't really see much, but it's just snow everywhere, and it's nearly lunchtime. I'm quite hungry. I hope this is a, a, a nice cafe at Peterborough. Could go for a nice cafe. Oh, a Costa. A Costa coffee. I don't drink coffee, but I like our hot chocolate. Oh dear, we're starting to go uphill once again. Oh dear, oh dear. I know steam engines don't do very well uphill. Well, I don't, I don't think any train does as well uphill, but... Bitten's coping. We're doing 91.9 miles per hour, so we are starting to slow down just a little bit. But... Bitten is a very confident A4. And plus, this route isn't actually that bad. I mean, there's not much steep hills and there's no downhills. Well, there's hardly any downhills. But that's what I like about this route. It's not too steep and it's not too... Well, you guys know what I mean. It's And it, it's, there's hardly any, like, twists and turns and bends. It's just a straight line from King's Cross to Peterborough. So I'm glad that this route is... Especially a route as good as this. And I mean, we're on the main line. And I love it. I love it when trains are on the main line. I love, I prefer the main lines than branch lines. I mean, branch lines are cool and cute, but I do like steam engines on the main line. It's better. It's, it's, it's just better. So I've got a message to all my friends out there and all the people who have just gotten Tracy 2020 who are looking to uh, buy a new route to add on to their add-on packs. Uh, I would recommend um, King's Cross to Peterborough. I mean, it's, it's such a good route. I mean, you can just... If you want to, if you want to test the train's speed and power, th this is the route for you, in my opinion. I mean, it's just a straight line, just from from one end to your destination to another, and there's no sharp bends, so you won't accidentally derail your train. It's just one big straight line. It's like a big, massive drag race, really. That's what it's like—a big racetrack, a long racetrack, so you can actually max your train's speed and power. So, if you guys are looking to a long route that that has just a big straight line. This is the route for you, the, uh, King's Cross to Peterborough. It's one of my favourite routes, and that's why I thought I'd give a little message out there to all of you who are looking to buy some new routes. I really recommend this one. First class, it's covered in snow. I mean, you can't, you can't see nothing out there. It's just a sheer white of blanket. That's all you can see. But look, we've got horizontal snow. That's pretty cool. So let's have a look at our speed, 91.2 miles per hour. And we've got 10.4 miles to go now. 10.4. So let's have a look on the map. Where are we? Oh, we are. We're so close. We're, we're actually, we're nearly there. I think I need to start thinking about start slowing down. Because we're nearly at Peterborough. Nearly at our destination, my friends. So we need to start paying attention. 
8.8 miles left to go, so I think we should think about start slowing down. So, what I'm going to do now is we're actually going to gently, ever so gently, just ease off on the power just a little bit. Just, just a tiny bit. Not by much. And now we've got 4.5 miles left on our cold, frosty journey on the most magnificent A4s. Not in the world, but very close. The ones I've ever known. The A4 Bitten. I'm actually going to miss this um, incredible journey. It's going to be hard to say goodbye. But you have to be strong. So now we've got nearly... Th well, yeah, we've got 3.9 miles left now, my friends. So we can only have it on the map again. I do like looking on the map. because It's, it's like a little GPS thing. Oh, yes. We're, ne we're, we're nearly there. Fantastic. 2.8 miles left. Nearly there. I'll tell you what it's like. It's like the countdown for New Year's Day or New Year's Eve. It's like waiting for the countdown clock. That's what it feels like. It's like counting down when it's New Year's Day. That's what it feels like for me anyway. Okay, now we need to start applying our brakes because we're actually at, nearly at Peterborough. And our speed limit will be 30 miles per hour soon. So we need to think about start slowing down. So we're going to apply the brakes. And Bitten will start slowing down from 80 miles per hour to possibly around about 50 miles per hour. And, uh, oh, press Q. God, that made me jump. Especially when you wear headsets. Every time that makes me jump. Okay, we'll apply a little bit of brakes, but I can actually see Peterborough on my little map thingy. But I can't actually see it because it's way too foggy and frosty. Get it down at least under 50 miles per hour. Come on, 50, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52. There we go, release the brakes. Looking good, Bitten. Do a little friendly toot to let people know we're coming into the station. Do like a little faraway shot. Okay, we're under 20 miles per hour now, but I think I slowed down just a little bit too much, so we're going to put up a bit more speed and just have a nice gentle cruise right into Peterborough Station. I can't actually see the station because it's just too foggy and frosty. I can't actually see the station. Oh, wait, I think I might be able to see it coming into view. Might be fading just a little bit, but... Mm, no, I can't see much. I can't see anything. All right, let's pull off power. Oh, we're switching points. We're going to this lane. Okay. Move aside. I'm coming in. Oh, there's the station. There's Peterborough Station. We're here. We're here, my friends. Ha ha! After all these time, Peterborough has been waiting for us. I'm going to go on this side, actually. Do it like a few toots of my whistle. Because I know the fans love that. Love the train fans, anyway. I want to get, like, an epic shot of Bitten actually coming in. I want to get, like, a cool, proper epic stop of Bitten finishing her epic journey from King's Cross. Oh, look at that. It's just so beautiful, especially in the distance. And look how beautiful this snow is. The snowflakes are just so pretty. Let's apply the brakes a little bit. Will I actually be able to fit in this station? I hope so. I can actually, um... Oh, no, I put the emergency brake on. Oh, why has it done that? Oh, no. Why? Why have you done that, Bitten? Oh, that's it. I think our journey is over. Fantastic. We've well, done it. Well, we're, we're sort of in the station. That's good. We've made it to Peterborough, my friends. So, yeah. Quick message to all you uh, viewers out there. For those of you who just bought Train Simulator 2020, and if you want to find some new routes, as I said, I recommend this route. London King's Cross to Peterborough. So, if you guys want a route as good as this... Well, no. If you guys want a route as good... Get, get this route. Thank you.